good day to you and welcome to Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Hit Show with yours truly, Landlord and Mike D. It's the great current gospel hits from the Bahamas, the Caribbean, and from all across America. Volume on the tambourine, that is my intention. Put me in the section with the rhythm section. Volume on the tambourine, that is my intention. Oh gosh, put me there. That was our first Caribbean song for the week, coming from two amazing gifted artists who are on fire for the Lord in the Caribbean. You know, one is from Barbados, Miss Nisha Woods, featuring Blessed Messenger. 
from out of Trinidad and Tobago on their latest track entitled Heaven. You know, these two got a lot of energy, man. If you ever see them perform, trust me, they is tear up the place, man. Tree up your up your energy all for the glory of the most high, you know. And I'm just loving this collaboration. And it's always great to see artists from different islands, different countries collaborating, working together to push the kingdom message, to you know, enhance and to build each other and also to inspire and touch the hearts of the people man so i'm loving the tune loving the vibe loving the collaboration the production everything you guys keep up the great work man all right and now to my brother from another mother can you please introduce our guests all the way from the u.s we want to welcome a gifted worship pastor who's just blessing people everywhere he goes. He can sing. He's such a great guy, too. He's the son of the great guitarist, Tim Sr., and he's the nephew of the great woman and an amazing artist as well, Vicki Bowman Winans, his aunt, Tim Bowman Jr. Welcome, my brother. How are you? I'm amazing, Mike. I feel like I'm at home every time I'm with you. But thank you so much for having me. It's been an amazing season. So to be here and talk briefly with you, it means the world to me, Mike. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, man. And we, we think yeah. you're a family, yeah. man. Hey, Tim, what's going on, man? And welcome back to the Caribbean, an urban American gospel hit show. You know, Tim, I saw a video with you and Kim Burrell and the Fate City Music Choir doing a little tribute performance for the Clark sisters, you know. But tell me, how did you feel at that moment being able to be a part of such a phenomenal event, also singing with such a powerhouse like Kim Burrell? First landlord, we've been rocking together for a while. I want to say first, thank you so much for having me. But that tribute was something that was special. Uh, the Clark sisters are from Detroit, Michigan. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. They're living legends. And for me and Kim Burrell to be able to give them their flowers meant the world to me. Um, so we came together, did the tribute. And it's something that the world has just been talking about. And I'm humbled. And it was an amazing experience. For real, man, it really was. And I'm sure that the Clark sisters really enjoyed you guys and were blessed that y'all was in the house, man. Good stuff. Whoa, you a Faith City music, man. Just keep on coming with the great music. Uh, the former number one, Jesus Now, Nobody But God. Tell us about that, man, because you guys be rocking the urban streets and everywhere else. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Nobody But God is like that anthem. It's almost like the testimony song, so... I always ask people in my live concerts, is anybody believe in God for something supernatural? And that's the song that you sing going through it while we're waiting for the manifestation. Everything God's going to do, Mike, he's already done it. We're just waiting for the manifestation. But there's a two-part job. His job was to do it. Our job was to be bold enough to believe him for it. Mm -hmm. So that's just my testimony song. So when, when I see my testimonies manifest, I just say, ain't nobody but God, but God. It's my song it's my anthem and just have the world singing along with me in faith city music means the world to me yeah man that's a good way to put it such a joyful and meaningful song god is so good yeah just just believe only believe like jesus said yeah wow man and of course your last song jesus with leandre johnson man you guys were cooking on that one too so keep the great music Thank coming you. man yeah tim Keep the great music coming, man. You guys are doing such an amazing job, man. Good stuff. Tim, there is an artist from out of the Bahamas. He is an amazing gospel artist. Awesome, awesome vocalist, you know. He goes by the name of Rico Aris, and he has a question for you. This is Rico Aris from the Bahamas, and also an upcoming artist. And my question for you is, how do you keep your voice healthy, and how do you prepare for ministry and music? Hey Rico, great question. Um, I've been singing for quite some time, so one of the first things I did was I learned my voice or my instrument. I learned what works for it, what, what doesn't work for it. I, 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 I then now drink tons of water, 
um, warm ups. Um, after I get done, uh, de escalation, warm downs, and um, I, I, I know I'm in tune with my instrument, so I, I kind of know what works for it, what doesn't work for it. Um, if I'm having a good day, I know kind of how to work within that. If I'm having a bad day, I kind of have know how to work within that but the only way you learn how to become one with your instrument is using it so i don't wait till i get on stage to use it but i use it at home i use it in the shower i use it all the time so i um i kind of know how to work it so an amazing question but my advice would be to get to know your instrument and then one thing I do um, when I'm preparing for at the church or these tributes, uh, we do a lot of rehearsing. So I rehearse hours weekly with the team and I, and we go over the music over and over and over again to prepare um, because practice makes perfect. So, and another saying is um, proper preparation prevents poor performance. So um, I'm a strong proponent of rehearsing over and over and over, and then it'll become one with you. Mm -hmm. And then that way you don't have to think when you're on stage, but it's become in every fiber of you. So great rehearsals um, really help me. That's Hallelujah. Yeah. Good word, man. Good advice. For real, man, that right there was powerful. And I'm sure that all the creatives, all those great artists out there really, you know, took that in and will use it in the future, man. But thank you so much for hanging with us today on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel It Show, Tim. And we wish you all the best. Well, Landlord Mike, once again, thank you so much for having me. It's always a pleasure being here with y'all. And I want to say thank you to all the people of the islands and the Bahamas and the Caribbean and all over the world. And to you, everybody in Africa, for supporting me and Faith City Music. I love y'all so much. I can't wait to get there and do a concert with y'all. But it's going to be amazing. And thank you again for supporting me.
everybody but God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Tim Bowman Jr. and Faith City Music are shouting it out with their song, Nobody But God. The follow-up single to their former number one single by Tim Bowman Jr. and Faith City Music, Jesus, featuring Leandria Johnson. Tim Bowman Jr. from a musical family. His father is the world-renowned jazz guitarist, Tim Bowman Sr., and his aunt, of course, the world-renowned Vicki Winans. Many, many years ago, when Vicki Winans first started her recording, a lot of people actually thought she was born into the Winans family. But no, Vicki Bowman was married to Marvin Winans. And Vicki Winans and her nephew, Tim Bowman Jr., are very close. He was singing alongside her since he's been a baby. Tim Jr. is now the music and worship pastor at his wife's father's church in the DMV, the Washington, D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. Tim and his wife, Breland, just recently had a baby boy. They've got four children now. And Tim Bowman Jr. and Faith City Music keep the great music coming with nobody but God. And we want to thank the gifted and anointed Tim Bowman Jr. for joining us today on Caribbean and Urban American Gospel Hits. Landlord Tim Bowman Jr. does put out the great music and a real cool brother, too. Mike, you know, Tim Bowman Jr. is such an amazing artist. You know, he grew up in music and now he's pastoring and doing big things and you know it's always great to just sit down and talk with him man right here on the caribbean and urban american gospel lit show but anyway coming up next we have another amazing artist she's from out of the u.s and she goes by the name of wendy peterson actually pastor wendy peterson and i want you guys to check out her latest track entitled the joy of the lord
That's the beautiful, soulful, reggae, gospel sound of Wendy Peterson and Unity. Pastor Wendy Peterson co-pastors their church with her husband in North Carolina, and she's a bona fide gospel singer as well. Landlord Wendy Peterson and Unity with their song, The Joy of the Lord, sounding good in the neighborhood, bro. Mike, I am just loving this track from Pastor Wendy Peterson, you know, entitled The Joy of the Lord. You know, we met recently at the at an event in Miami where she performed it and she has rocked the house, man, you know. But the most amazing thing is that she was singing for years, but it was never reggae. Reggae isn't really her genre of music, you know. She do more contemporary music, you know. But she met some folks, you know, while she was in London at a music retreat, uh, Keziah and Toyin. And they are originally from Jamaica, but, you know, they now live and reside in the UK. And they love reggae because, you know, they have Jamaican background and, you know... Um, Kaziah, she's a big time producer over there, Toyin, she's an artist, uh, she's on radio, and so they're doing big things, and, you know, uh, Pastor Wendy, she connected with them, and they decided to just, you know, produce a song for her, and when Wendy went to the studio, and, I mean, she just fell in love with it, she fell in love with reggae, and so what you are hearing is actually Wendy Peterson first time doing a reggae track and I am loving it I'm sure the people listening to it are loving it and she is loving it man you know but you know you guys just keep up the great work man the production is amazing man you guys did an amazing job on that and you know Wendy you sang it very very beautiful man the production is awesome you know so you guys just keep up the great work beautiful song the joy of the Lord all right well, Mike, we are at the end of the show once again. What word of encouragement would you love to leave at us today? Yeah, landlord, something that can symbolize being positive is a smile. A smile is good for who receives it from you. And a smile is good for you. It's been said, a smile can make a person 10 years younger. Most definitely, Mike. You know, a smile can really make a change in a person's life, man. So let's continue to use it wisely, all right? Well, at this time, we would love to thank the international multi-award winning artist, Tim Bowman Jr. for hanging with us today on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel It Show. And we would also love to thank you, our wonderful listeners, who takes the time to hang out and chill out with us every week. We appreciate you, and we look forward to you joining us next time on the number one radio station right here. This is yours truly, Landlord, and on the behalf of Mike Dean, everyone here, thanks for being with us on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel It Show. But coming up next, from out of the Florida area, you know, he's a good friend of mine. He goes by the name of Michael Lee. You know, he has a very powerful testimony. You guys got to check up on him. He is an amazing guy. He's working with the Grammy Award winning producer, Fred Jerkins. And trust me, this brother could sing. <laughs> he's amazing, man, you know. And guess what? He has roots Right here in the Bahamas, man. This brother has roots right here in the Bahamas, mostly in the Freeport area. And I want you guys to check out his latest track entitled Clap My Way. Right here on the Caribbean and Urban American Gospel It Show. So until next time, God bless you and may his light continue to shine on you. God bless. You're ready to clap? We back. FJ3. Standing in my way But I never thought it was possible for me to lose my prey I found I always had a frown Cause I let my problems get me down But not another day I'm the head
I'm no longer a slave, I'm a guy. 